hello guys welcome back to our youtube channel in this video i'm going to show you how i did one eda capstone project using tableau excel and python and this is a capstone project from alma better and let's get started so we are going to analyze airbnb booking data so first uh, let us know what is airbnb Airbnb is an American company that operates an online marketplace for lodging, primarily homestays for vacation rentals and tourism activities based in San Francisco, California. The platform is accessible via website and mobile app. It's kind of similar to Hoyo Rooms, which is present in India, right? Since 2008, guests and hosts have used Airbnb to expand on traveling possibilities and present a more unique personalized way of experiencing the world. Today, Airbnb became one of a kind service that is used and recognized by the whole world. Data analysis on millions of listings provided through Airbnb is a crucial factor for the company. These millions of listings generate a lot of data. Right? data that can be analyzed and used for security business decisions understanding of customers and providers behavior and performance on the platform guiding marketing initiatives implementation of innovative additional services and much more so so we are we are taking a data set of airbnb bookings and which is around uh, 49000 so of observations we are having with the 16 columns right we'll see that in a bit okay explore and analyze the data to discover key understandings so these are not limited to this you should not be should analyze more right so we are having what can we learn about a different hostess and areas that's the first one and the second one what can we learn from predictions example locations prices and reviews which hosts are the busiest and why is there any noticeable difference of traffic among different areas and what could be the reason for it right so these things we can do on our data right first let me show you the data i'll show you show it in excel right this is the data we are having id then name as you can see this is a description of that particular room or hotel right then host id then we are having host name neighborhood group neighborhood then room type like private entire home or apartment like you can see these things we are also having price minimum nights number of reviews and calculated host listings count and availability so this is a data set we are having so let me tell you so one thing i want to tell you is that I removed uh, these things latitude longitude and last review reviews per month I removed these columns from the data set why as you can see last review and reviews per month are having more number of null values so if there is more number of null values and and I thought uh, these were not that useful for our data analyzing purpose, right? So that's why I removed. And I also removed these two things, latitude and longitude. Those are not at all useful, right? And you can see the shape of our data set. This is our shape of our data set. Then, so this is what I did. Uh, I removed those all columns so this is what similar to this thing in excel we just need to delete those particular columns right 
so here i just took the necessary columns so these are the only necessary columns then as you can see these are the questions right first uh, we will see the tab blue one as we can see here host listings in different neighborhood groups manhattan maximum calculated host host listings are uh, 327 so here we are having 3 uh, 232 so the first one is in manhattan manhattan has more number of host listings this is the first question right as you can see it feels more visually appealing right then we can see the number of reviews with respect to the room type so we are having uh, as you can see we are having entire home or apartment private room and shared room so in Bronx the people are preferring to stay in private room Brooklyn they are preferring to stay in entire home or apartment in Manhattan people are preferring to stay in private room so Queens they are preferring to stay in private room in Staten Island they are preferring to stay in private room so people are not preferring to stay most people are not preferring to stay in shared rooms so we can say that yeah people are preferring to stay in private room and entire home or apartment then here you can see room type with respect to price in different neighborhood so we are having maximum price we can toggle with that to minimum price also but I'm going to show you the maximum price we can just toggle this thing so in Bronx these are the prices for entire home or apartment we are having thousand for private room we are having 2500 so maximum price for shared room is 800 so in this place for private room there is maximum price so here Brooklyn we are having most price for entire home slash apartment that is for 10,000 in share private room we are having for 7,500 for in Brooklyn we are having shared room for 725 so it's cheaper when compared to Bronx for shared room in Manhattan so for entire home or apartment we are having for 10,000 for private room we are having for nearly 10,000 only but shared room is is also high right you can see 1000 you can analyze these all things like that only here maximum number of nights stayed in which room type so here you can see entire home or apartment in Manhattan so minimum nights are 1250 in private room Brooklyn is highest in shared room Manhattan is highest so Manhattan is highest in entire home or apartment and as well as in shared room so as you can see the person who don't know anything about the coding or anything he can analyze this data very easily that's the power of visualization right most uh, stakeholders prefer this kind of dashboards right now we will move to the excel so these are the steps i took i'll give you the files in the description there you can see so here 
I'll just do this thing so that you can see host listings in different neighborhood. So here you can see the data also. But in Tableau, we can see both the things but in different manner. Right in Excel, you can see Manhattan is on top, right, with the maximum calculated host listings of 327, right. So, in the second question, I'll just try to show you this thing. Here, room type with the, with respect to maximum number of reviews. As you can see here, private room in Queens is highest, right? With the here also, you can see Queens neighborhood group is having on, on the top with the most number of reviews of around 629. So, in Queens, they are preferring private room. So, you can see when you you just need to download and you can see in detail right here room type with respect to maximum price in queens the maximum price is uh, for for private room we are having 10,000 right with respect to room type we can see the data in queens it's a private room in Brooklyn, it's enter home or apartment. In Manhattan, these two are same, right? Having same maximum price. In Stainless Land, we are having very less number of price because it's not famous. Eh? Yeah, Manhattan and Queens are famous, and and Brooklyn also. So now we'll to the move to the last one. I just try to show you this thing. Room type uh, with respect to the maximum number of nights stayed. So Manhattan comes the first here. So as we saw here, here also Manhattan. Here also Manhattan. So, the people are staying a bit longer in Manhattan when compared to, uh, but here in Brooklyn also they are staying a bit, little bit low compared to Manhattan, as we can see. So, this is what I have done in Excel and this is what I have done in Tableau. Now let's see what I have done using Python. So most of the part I used group by and sort and these things, right? So using group by, so I used a host name, neighborhood group, then here I'm just using count to just count the host listings. As you can see here also we are getting Manhattan on the top right and these are the host name for these kind of things python is best right to get these things that's that's what a python is best for right here in this second question i used a again group by only with the neighborhood group price and minimum nights and number of reviews as you can see queens coming on top the price around 10,000 as you can see in tableau also uh, we got queens I think on top right this is what happening with this right and here you can see the number of reviews are one that means uh, the person who came he stayed a bit longer right and here I just plotted a graph no I plotted a chart so 
here I considered the number of reviews from here you can see the number of if the number of reviews are more uh, that means they are staying for only one night but here you can see you have one person staying for longer time long like yeah that's what happening and the price is very less that means uh, they are staying for one night and they are leaving that place yeah that's what our potato tells here is another bar chart and which hostess are the busiest and why so we got Sonder from Manhattan so these these are people these are the hostess who are busy, busiest because the minimum nights stayed are high as you can see so this is the bar chart as you can see and this is the last question is there any noticeable difference of traffic among different areas and what could be the reason for it here i used a, again group by with neighborhood group room type and then minimum nights just as you can see the most people people are preferring to stay in entire home or apartment in private room right there are very less number of people who are preferring to stay in shared room so uh, this is what i have done hope you like this thing yeah so i'll give all the links in the description box below you can check them out right thank you guys thanks for watching meet you next video till then bye bye